All right, everyone, so here's my Dremel 3D45. I know this isn't the usual content that I put out, but I, I felt like this was important. It might help some people. So I've had this printer for two years now, have thousands of hours of printing on it, uh, and finally something has failed. Well, I guess besides the, the, the little leveling sensor, this thing is garbage. I have to calibrate it every time. The extruder has clogged twice now. The first time I cleaned it out and it printed for a little while uh, and then it stopped again. So I'm just replacing the extruder. I have these micro Swiss hardened steel 0.4 millimeter nozzles. Uh, and so the change on this should be pretty easy. I just have a nine millimeter socket on a ratchet. I've preheated the hot end uh, and so there's a bit of a little rubber yeah, you can see that pretty easily this little rut is really hot but this little rubber thing right here uh, makes it hard to get the uh, ratchet over it but you just have to sort of push and so I'm just gonna gently push upwards and push down on top of the carriage uh, to not put too much stress on the on the rods all right so I'm gonna take the old one off now Righty tighty lefty loosey. Alright, so when it's preheated it comes off pretty easily. Uh, the, the issue is that the ratchet will actually get really hot, or the socket rather will get really hot. The threads are really long. And there it is. Out with the old. Yeah, so this is the focus. This is a brass nozzle. Uh, so they were raving reviews for the other nozzle, so hopefully that will fix all of my problems. So just to make sure I get the clog out, I'm gonna push the filament through. Uh, these were $25 each on Amazon. I got two of them just in case. Uh, and I got next day shipping. Or sorry, I got same day shipping. Ordered them this morning and now it is 6 p.m. and I have them. Bless you, Jeff Bezos. Ah, oh, nice. Click. I don't know what the torque specs are on that, but uh, Guten tight is uh, a phrase that comes to mind. There she flows. Uh, I'm going to start a print, and we will see how she does. All right, I canceled the first print. I forgot to level it. Don't forget to level it when you change your nozzle. Okay, it's printing. Excuse the crusty plexiglass, but there is filament coming out of the extruder. All right, it looks like we are halfway through a 20-hour print. All right. I think I've got it working pretty nice. Look at that first layer. Oh my god, that's beautiful. So it, it, it took a little bit of tweaking. The, the main issue was that I uh, didn't have the nozzle screwed all the way in. Sorry, this plexiglass is dirty. I should clean it. Uh, but, but basically, I didn't have the nozzle screwed all the way in. So just make sure you screw it all the way in or it, it will not print the first layer correctly and that makes sense because there's no leveling of the nozzle that you can do you can only level the bed relative to the print carriage right so the printer does not know at all where the nozzle is so when you change the nozzle it has to be at exactly the same height or you could potentially adjust print settings but that's a that's a different story but anyway first layer is printing really well now all right Third and final update, uh, the, the printer is printing. The nozzle is extruding. Um, I'm having some issues with this new filament, but 
Uh, that doesn't have to do anything with the nozzle. If the nozzle is working, just make sure you screw it in all the way. Make sure you level the bed after, uh, and you'll be good. You know, I, I don't take any responsibility for any damage done to your printer, and, you know, potentially you're supposed to actually take the entire carriage apart to change the nozzle, but just doing it on the carriage worked for me. So I'll, I'll keep updates in the video description. If this nozzle fails at any point in time, I especially will update the description and say that the nozzle has failed. But, I mean, it's extruding as well as the stock one did, uh, as far as I can tell. No drastic changes in print quality or anything like that. So thanks for watching. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like. I'll see you next time. Bye.